Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I got a new brand, 10X. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so my friend Dylan Bell, the operator, the head honcho, the boss of 10X, hooked me up with these 10X rackets. Check them out. This one's actually called Excalibur. And there's a couple of them in the line. The weights are a little different. I got both of them. Let's see what this one is. We got a 98 square inch head, 20 millimeter beam, 300 grams. 16 by 19 string pattern. But check out how wide that center is though. Right here, this throat area right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But look at how wide that is. So it's got kind of a, a rounder front here that becomes a little more oval in through. That tells me that this part is gonna flex a little bit more. Um, the story behind the racket is that it's from tip to tip flex. So it's gonna flex from where I'm holding it all the way to the end. Okay, so this is the 10.6 version. This one is 98 square inch head, 20 millimeter beam, 315 now. Okay, so 11.1 before the strings. I love this black color. Hmm. Excalibur is a great name. So, and they gave me some Atomic Strike, which is a rough sided string to uh, test out. German engineered polyfiber, hmm. power spin and touch. Yeah, I felt it when I strung it. So, so we strung it at 52 pounds. Um, let's go give it a shot. So we just got off the court with the 10X X 
Caliber rackets. Yes. Um, oh, look at that. Chris there's, there's two. Already. Yeah, there's another, there's another version. There's one that's 315 and the other one's 300, correct? Yep, I'm holding the 300. Chris 315. has the 315. Wow. We are really squinting our eyes on this to I see that <laughs> right very, here. I'm very impressed by these, actually. Coach Chris, you have the 315 in hand. What'd you think? Uh, this racket is definitely a different <laughs> racket that I feel like uh, is very modern, and it's a kind of a different uh, racket that um, I haven't really come across yet. So I think they're doing some really interesting things out in Australia. Uh, it's definitely a pros racket. I, I definitely feel uh, the, a lot of control and definitely a lot of flex with this racket compared to all the other ones I've tried out um, so far. So the Excalibur racket, if you're someone who likes a bit more control with their shots, I would say this 315 would be the one to play with. Um, um, yeah. What are, your, what are your opinions about the 300? The 300, it's got a little bit more power. Again, I think the, the selling point for these rackets uh, – because, it's, again, I've never heard of the 10X brand before. I really think it's just that control and, and bend of the racket. It's definitely a lot more flexible and uh, forgiving, too, as well. Um, I would like to see it being pushed out here a bit more. And maybe with Tennis Spin, we can bring 10X a bit more um, to the forefront. So, wow, you like um, it that much, huh? It's quite good, actually. Well, in, in the concept of it, I think it's pretty cool. I've not seen a racket like this uh, in the U.S. This is an interesting way to bring it in with a little bit more flex to to your shot. So. Yeah, cool. Well, okay. uh, I have a quick question for you. Yes, um, yes Goo. Yes, yeah, wow, you you too. Okay. Um, <laughs> the price range on these rackets, are they competitive with our big brands here? Or are they, or, they're comparable. Or they're very comparable. Oh, really? They're really yeah, comparable. They're, very, they're not like $500 or anything. No. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying it's like Regna or anything like that. I'm talking about if it, it's like compared to like a Babylon Pier Drive or yeah. if is it like almost like a decathlon racket. Totally. Totally. Oh, wow. Totally. Yeah. yeah, they're just... Uh, I call it private label. You know, they're not like mainstream. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Um, talk right. about the 300. Talk about the tour. Which you, one do you, you like? tell me. You tell me. I, I like both. They're all, they're both great. Um, I'll get started. I'll start with 300. Um, do a counter order. Uh, no, but this is this Excalibur racket. Uh, first of all, I like how it's all black. It is a blackout racket, which is very appealing to me. Um, but no, like, like I have to agree with Chris. It is a really well designed modern racket. Um, weight distribution goes really well on both rackets. They did a really good job. And the 300, yes, you'll get a little more pop. Sweet spot is a lot bigger and it's easier to maneuver around, especially if you're a user that or a rack person that loves control but wants to use a lighter racket, kind of like the pure drive kind of feel to to it with control um the flex on this thing is insane it's actually very very good um it definitely is a very flexible i think you can tell from here on the bottom part of the throat or the head it actually widens out and it's thinner so that's where i believe the flex really comes through and you'll feel it um but usually um with some like for example prints prints is a little playful with their flexibility and they try to experiment a little too much. I think 10X found its true uh, midpoint of it and executed perfectly on this racket. So um, if you're a person that is willing to look for control and um, you know loves using a 300 gram racket, 10X it, of the X caliber is something you should definitely check out. I would say that. But my personal favorite is the 315 because... Who loves a little weight? I think all of us do, yeah? We can agree on that? Yep. Yeah, look at that. Something we can agree on. We we all three don't agree on anything pretty much, right, guys? I think overall, this racket, I would say, um, 315 version, this is my personal favorite um, because it feels like a pro stick. This is pretty much um, which all rackets should mimic and should be like. Um this is the closest you'll ever get to what we call a player slash pro racket. Um, 
This one definitely gives you more feel, uh, a lot more controls. The sweet spot is a bit smaller, but it doesn't sacrifice its power. Um, the flexibility, like I said, is amazing. Um, 10X really did a great job with both of these rackets. And, you know, I know as an Australian brand, I think they definitely will do very well, I believe, in the American market. Um, so I would say... Guys, if you can get your hands or if you ever go to Australia during the Australian Open and you see one of these rackets hanging around there, give it a shot. I think a lot of you guys will love this racket. Um, this is, this is, I would say, I highly recommend this racket to a lot of the players who are looking for control. It reminds me of the new Prestige because the new Prestige does have, they have more pop, um, like a Pro Staff, for example. But, um, this is like a pro staff with a little more pop, in my opinion. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. So definitely, guys, check this this brand out. You can actually get these in America. You just got to go to their website, and you can buy them directly from them. That's kind of how we got them. All right, so I agree with both of you. I love the heavy one. I love the flex in it. I love the dwell time in it. I felt mm -hmm. like when you struck the ball well, it it like bent back and then launched. So for the ultimate control, ultimate feel, ultimate of everything except for maybe power. But those of you who are going to use this racket don't really need nor want a ton of power anyways. Because yeah. you're going to generate it yourself. Oh, um, yeah. Are going to love this racket. If you can get your hands on either one of these, if you like flexible rackets, these are definitely ones to try. So we literally love these rackets. If you can get your hands on these, buy these. Good in our opinion, and definitely want we want it probably in the American market. It yeah, would definitely yeah, do I think very there's, well. There's room for this thing. Yeah, these there's room for these rackets. All right, guys. Uh, Coach Gu, where can I find you? You can find me at hu tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Coach Chris. You can find me at Super Chen Tennis. And that's it. Oh. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. What are you doing? Hey, Coach. I'm racing. I hurt my ankle. So, rice? Ricing. Ricing? Ricing. You mean rest, icing, compression, and elevation? Rice?